Greetings all, it's time to once again journey into the barren and dying wasteland that is Flat Earth. So let's get started. As we all know, I've released a number of videos on celestial navigation. I've approached it from a globe side, I've approached it from a flat earth side, I've used sextants to confirm my location in the real world. Hell, I've even dug through archives of almanacs, training manuals, and nautical charts dating as far back as 1680. So while I'm not a professional gator, I know for sure when a flat earther is trying to blow smoke up my ass. I also know when a flat earther is running away from answering even a grade school level question on the topic. Now let's enter Quantum Eraser's head and see how he deals with day one questions and real world evidence. Ignore any echo and don't worry, I left a trail of breadcrumbs so we can find our way out. As we can see, we are in his playground and I put forth an observation that even a child can understand. Now cue Quantum Tin Man, I'm sure he's going to nail this on the first try. Nope. Well, let's try for round two. Wow, yet another failure to answer a basic question and second grade level insult and claim about my navigational skills. Let's see how he deals with real world evidence regarding my ability to use a sextant, shall we? Well, apparently, real-world evidence breaks the rules. But let's make sure about that and point out that deleting evidence, well, is an ongoing thing. It looks like even asking about that breaks the rules. A Q Quantum Tin Man's insult tantrum and has claimed that he gave me two chances to answer a question that I essentially is my own question that I put forth to Flat Earthers. Now, not long after, Protohead pointed out that it's impossible for me to answer Tin Man's question if I've been timed out. Let's see how well this goes over with safe spacing Tin Man. Nope, apparently not well at all. Now let's watch Tin Man safe space and make it look like he won. So let's get out of Quantum Tin Man's head and get to the nuts and bolts, the real reason behind this video. On the off chance you find a flat earther with the balls to discuss celestial navigation, it's always armchair navigators, flat earthers with untested, unverified presuppositions as to how celestial navigation is done on flat earth and how it proves their unsubstantiated claims. Well, I say enough is enough with our mental masturbation. From now on, request testable, verifiable methodology for celestial navigation with a sextant on flat Earth. If they can't provide it, have them admit that they have no such methodology or call them out on it. If they continue with their excuses, parrot scripts, insults, and so on, point out that no navigator worth a damn would refuse to provide such methodology. In other words, it's way past time for them to put away their binky take off their diaper, put on their big boy pants, and step the hell up. Because to be honest, considering how long Flat Earth Sextant Navigation claim has been going on, there is no reason whatsoever as to why the methodology cannot be provided. Well, short of there not being one. Until next time, I'm out of here.